This chapter of the walkthrough is going to refresh your knowledge on bringing 2D floor plans into a project and is going to cover putting multiple sheets together into one single floor plan. For this walkthrough, you are going to start a new project. However, there is one thing to still do in the ABC project. If you want to use any of the new materials that you created in a new project, you will need to update them to the Standard Materials Database first. Click on the Materials icon and open Project Materials. Next, click on Copy Mark Standard Materials. And finally, click on Update Standard from Current Project. You will have a warning window open before it completes. Select Update Now. Click on Close and click on Close again. Your project materials have now been updated to the standard material database. Moving on. Make sure you are on the Walls in Project screen and click on the Select Project button. This will bring you to the Project screen. Click on the Insert button and name your new project Multi-Sheet Project. Then click on OK. Your Multi-Sheet Project is now listed with the other projects. Double click on this project now. You are now back on the Walls in Project screen and you do not have any walls to work with. Click on the Assemblies icon and locate your ABC project. The bottom right corner of the Assembly screen contains a button called Drag Policy. Click on and open this screen now. This screen has selections for the Assembly's Material, Crew, and Mortar. These selections will allow you to choose to use information from the Standard Database the assembly's project data, or the most recent of the two. Select to use the most recently updated and then click on OK. Now, open the ABC project and drag the north wall to your wall screen and copy wall will open. You can leave the description the same. Make sure there is a checkbox in Odd Courses and Change Openings, Verticals, and Rebar to Schedule Only. Click on the OK Copy Checked Items button now. Go ahead and close the assembly screen. The north wall is now in walls in your multi-sheet project. Make sure the north wall is highlighted and click on Change. Now, click on the Place Wall button and the Update On-Screen 2D Plan screen opens so that you may bring in four floor plans. Click on the Select 2D Plans button to open your plan folder. You are going to bring in all floor plans at once. Click on Sheet A to highlight it. Now, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and then left click on Sheet B, Sheet C, and Sheet D. All four sheets should be highlighted now. Click on Open and return to UOSP. The elevation will remain at zero. Set the scale to 2048. Click on OK. The four floor plans are now showing on OSP, but they are all stacked on top of each other. Zoom in a little and look at the lower right hand side of the floor plan and you will see a small key plan of the four sheets A, B, C, and D. See the location of the four sheets. Sheet A goes in the upper left-hand corner, Sheet B goes in the lower left-hand corner, Sheet C goes in the upper right-hand corner, 
and sheet D goes in the lower right hand corner. Now zoom away a little and click on the top sheet. By clicking on the sheet, it now shows a manipulator around it, telling us we can move or manipulate that sheet. The sheet we are going to move is sheet A. Look up at the top of the page and you will see that sheet A is highlighted. Our goal here is to lay or position all four sheets on the match lines and make one big floor plan. First, you will need to separate them and space them out just a little. Make sure you are in pick mode and click and hold the middle of the top sheet, sheet A, and move it to your upper left hand corner of the screen. Note, be careful not to place your cursor on any of the green squares surrounding the floor plan. You can possibly stretch, shrink, or manipulate the floor plans in ways that you do not wish. Now click on the next floor plan, sheet B, and move the floor plan directly below sheet A. Now click on the next floor plan, sheet C, and move it directly to the right of sheet A. And finally, click on sheet D and move it to the last position of the four sheets. There are some options and tools to discuss at this time. Highlight Sheet C in the list box at the top of your screen. Right click on the highlighted line and you will open up a screen of options. We are going to cover the Trim and Resize options. Click on the Trim Set option. This feature will allow you to trim off parts of the floor plan that does not contain any pertinent data and allow the print to be more easily read. Two points are placed when trimming. One point sets the horizontal cut and the second sets the vertical, or vice versa, depending on which point you start with first. We will use Sheet C for an example. Left click on the right side of the floor plan just under the horizontal match line. Next, left click on the floor plan on the upper left corner just on the outside of the vertical match line. A new window with several options appear. If the trim has the desired result, select Save. Redo Final allows you to place the second point again and Start Over allows you to place both points again. Press Save when your trim is correct. You will be able to go back and remove the trim at any time. Once done trimming, right click on one of the floor plans in the list box again. You will see Resizing Tools and Resize by Click. Select the Resizing Tools. If you have multiple sheets for one project that have several different scales, this window will allow you to change them to one scale. Close out of this window now. Note, for the next steps in the walkthrough, I would recommend utilizing the control wheels for positioning your view of the floor plans. Trans Y for up and down movement, Trans X for left and right movement, and Zoom for, well, zooming. When putting your floor plans together, I recommend that you just focus on two at a time. We will start with Sheet A and Sheet B. Position your floor plans and zoom in so that you are able to see the provided match lines on the bottom of A and the top of B. If a set of floor plans do not have clearly marked match lines, then you will need to identify walls or rooms that do cross over or appear on both sheets. Make sure you are in pick mode. Click and hold Sheet A and drag it down so that the match lines line up with Sheet B. Note, if you are having a hard time seeing the lines through the top sheet, you can adjust the transparency of the selected print with the transparency controls in the lower right corner of the screen. Next, use the wheels so that you can see the corner of Sheet C. Click and hold on C 
and then drag it so that its match lines line up with A and B. And finally, position your view so that you can see the upper left corner of D. Click on and drag it to line up with the match lines of A, B, and C. Use the zoom wheel and pull the image back so that you may see your four sheets combined into one. Time to set the scale. Look at the top of your screen in the list box where your floor plans are listed. Scroll up to the top line description called Scale slash Shared Placements. Place a check mark in the box under Show and under Manipulate on the line description. At this time, you might want to zoom out. You will now see a darker box with green squares around the outside. This box is the Scale Manipulator. It is OK to move the green squares and change the shape on the Scale Manipulator when initially setting the scale. Remember, when setting the scale, you will want to locate a horizontal or vertical line with a clearly defined length. The longer, the better. There is a 32-foot length that you are going to use at the top of Sheet A between Column 6 and 7. Locate the 32-foot length now and then position the manipulator near it. You will need to shrink your manipulator if it is too large to work with. Make sure you are in pick mode and then drag the green squares inward to shrink the manipulator. Now, zoom in and get a clear view of the 32-foot length. Next, left-click and hold on the center of the manipulator and drag the upper left corner to the left hash mark of the 32-foot length. Now, left-click and hold the upper right green square of the manipulator and drag it to the right hash mark of the 32 foot length. Don't forget to use the Trans Y and Trans X wheels if you need to move the image to a better position. Now, the scale manipulator is set to a dimension of 32 feet 0 inches. Enter that 32 feet 0 inch dimension in the horizontal field in Set the project scale in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You are now finished importing your floor plan and setting the scale for this multi-sheet walkthrough. So let's click on the button Save and Close which is located at the bottom right hand side of your screen and the Place Wall screen will open with your four sheets showing. As always, you want to test your scale before you begin placing walls for your project. Make sure you are in pick mode and placement type is segmental and then place a horizontal and a vertical segment for your test. That concludes the multi-sheet walkthrough. But as long as we have a floor plan with a radius wall, let us quickly go over placement of a radius wall. Move your floor plan image so that you can see both ends of the radius wall at the front of the building. Put your cursor in Pick Mode. Under the Place Walls tab, open the Placement Type window. Select Continuous. The left end of the radius has a short wall that wraps around. Place your first point at the beginning of this segment. Now. Your second point will be placed at the beginning of the left side of the radius wall and the short segment wall will appear. Change your placement type to Radius 3 Point. Just as the name implies, the radius is built with three points. An anchor, which you have already placed, a second point, which should be placed roughly in the middle of the radius, and the third point, which is the end of the radius wall. Place the second and third points now. You can now change placement type back to continuous and do a few more sections if you like. Okay, now this really concludes this chapter of the walkthrough. The next chapter will cover wall shapes.